What's up guys, I'm back with another collection video for you. So today I thought it'd be cool to kind of show you guys my watch collection. The majority of my watches are Michael Kors because that's when I really started getting into wearing watches. And one thing you'll notice is that all of my watches are dead. Now at one point they were actually all working, but they slowly started dying one by one. And then I would only get the batteries changed for the ones I was currently wearing. And then the pandemic happened with the coronavirus. So now none are working, but I still wear them as bracelets. Here's one I'm wearing right now. This is one Michael Kors. You'll get a close up of it when we get to that part of the video, but that's just a little look at the watch I'm wearing today. I chose it so that I would match this rose gold um, Kendra Scott necklace with a pink little stone. So uh, let's get right into it. Now, some of these are from high school, maybe even middle school, uh, but the majority of them are from college and onwards. And I really like watches. I think they really can make an outfit. So I thought I'd show you all that I have. All right, so let's start with the oldest watch that I have. And that would be this white sparkly and Klein watch. You can see I actually did wear it a lot while I was in high school and it is damaged. But it was really when I started to actually like wearing watches. Another old watch that I have that I never really wear but still like to have as an option is this blue watch. It looks more like a bracelet sometimes uh, from the Philippines, I believe. And it's really pretty, I think. This watch is actually adjustable if you grab these two pieces of the string and hmm, it's smaller. So really easy to put on, really easy to take off. Another watch I got while I was in high school is this Swatch brand watch. It's a wrap around, I don't know the correct term for this, but it's the one that wraps around multiple times around your wrist and I think it's super cute. I really like the colors. Um, I also tied this red string onto it to kind of look like a little watch pendant. It's something I've seen someone wear before and not with the ribbon, but it was like an actual piece of jewelry for your watch. I don't know the exact name of it, but I thought I'd create my own with red string in high school, still have it. And so now this is basically where my Michael Kors collection starts. Uh, the first watch is this Michael Kors two-tone gold and silver watch. This is my first Michael Kors watch. I remember seeing a few girls wear this and all I could see was the gold and silver design and the sparkles on the front. I could never read the name. It took me a while to figure it out and that it was Michael Kors. And I was obsessed with this. I still wear this watch a lot. It's dead like the rest of them, but I really enjoy it. I think it goes with everything and it's such a good and classic look for a watch. So this is the brown, I think it's called the tortoise shell color. Um, I don't, I have no idea, but basically it's just a brown and gold colored watch. I really like this. I don't wear this one as often as my other watches just because I'm not really sure all that it can go with. The next watch is another wraparound watch and it's just a light brown and gold face watch. Uh, super simple, I think it's really classy. I really like this look. It's very uh, flat, it's got a flat face um, and I think it goes with a lot too. So it, I know these are pretty similar but I just feel like this one goes with more outfits than this one, um, but you know, good options to have. Kinda like with sunglasses, you need all the options. My next watch is this oversized unisex watch. I love oversized watches. I think they look so good, especially on a small wrist. And I love when it's loose, it's a loose feel, kind of like a bracelet. And that's how I like to wear all my watches, like they're bracelets. I don't like them too tight. I like some movement in there, room to breathe. The gold color has kind of started to kind of fade on the back, but that's okay. I still love it. I've actually got another oversized watch. It's basically the same model, but this one I believe is limited edition or a certain edition where it has a picture of the world map on its face. That was something that I really, really liked. I just felt like, you know, this is rose gold. It's got a nice blue color face. I just thought it was so pretty. I really, really wanted it. My boyfriend actually got me this for Christmas, I believe or maybe it was my birthday I or anniversary. Next watch has a sparkly face with the MK logo on it. 
This is my only full silver colored watch. I really like this. Um, I think it's nice and simple, goes with anything. Next is another rose gold watch. I really love this sparkly, um, not sure what you call this. I just really like the detail here. I like that it's simple. I think it's a classy look. The last Michael Kors watch I have is another rose gold with a pink face. So similar to this one right over here. You can see how this one is really simple and this one has a few more things going on with it. Um, this one I think I believe was a Christmas gift from my boyfriend and this watch actually died really fast so haven't worn this in a little bit but I really like having it as a part of my collection. My last watch is Kate Spade. When I got this watch I was actually looking for a different Kate Spade watch where the the band was gold, but the face was this hot pink color. And it was just out of stock everywhere. And then I saw this as an option and I thought, hey, this is actually even better. I thought this was super cute. It's very different from what I have. It has a pop of color. And I really, really like this watch. I don't have any other Kate Spade watches. Um, obsessed with this, I wore this a lot. Um, gold color hasn't really faded that much maybe just a little bit on the edge right over here but otherwise it's a really good watch and it's held up really well i completely forgot about one watch that i had and i totally knew i forgot one of them so this is a gold and i want to say like a chocolate brown michael kors a uh, flat face watch and since I forgot about it, you can probably tell I haven't worn this in a very long time, but I blame it on my organization. I don't have a good place where all my watches are on display, so this just shows me that I need to change that. So if you're wondering how I store my watches, I actually don't have a good storage box for it. Right now I'm storing them all in my jewelry box. So they're mixed in with earrings, bracelets, uh, rings. So it's not really organized. I mean, it's not really meant to hold watches. If I didn't have any other jewelry, which I don't have a lot to begin with, then they would all pretty much fit properly. But I do have some fashion jewelry that I never really wear because I like to keep it pretty simple. I'm a pretty simple girl when it comes to jewelry. I don't like a lot of hanging earrings. I have very few of those, but I do wear them from time to time and simple necklaces as well. So I could store my watches better, but I don't really wanna get two boxes of cases to hold jewelry and watches. I just feel like that's gonna be a little too bulky. So I am looking for a better way. Maybe if I had a bigger closet um, when I grow up, that'll be how I store them because those California closet style drawers and everything, they look pretty nice. Well, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed looking through my watch collection with me. Let me know which ones were your favorite and which ones you think I should probably take out of my collection. Maybe like the one I got from high school, but it's always hard to let go. And as always, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I like to put out a video at least once a week, sometimes twice a week at anything from product reviews or a little day in the lives or just a video of my corgis. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.